So it was introduced by Luca Pacioli in 1494 in Italy. So you know about the popular book Artha Shastra which is written by Kautilya. So this was when the chartered accountant was established in England and Wales in 1880. How the American Institute of Certified Public Accountant have defined accounting. Hello everyone, welcome you all to Vidyashram. I am Harshita, lecturer, Department of Commerce, Vidyashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. My dear students, just now you have completed your 10th standard and now into your PUC, that is first PUC and you have opted the Commerce branch. Now I am going to introduce one of the important subject under the Commerce branch, that is Accountancy. Let us see what is this Accountancy is all about, what you are going to learn in this subject. So we shall have a brief introduction introduction about this subject and make sure that this is one of the important as well as easy subject in the commerce branch. Now if you see the origin of accounting, so let us see what is the origin of accounting. So if you see the picture here, so it is what? It is a clay object. Around 7500 BC, the Mesopotamians were using small clay objects. So this is the small clay objects what they were using that is before 7500 BC as counters for keeping the accounts of goods. Of course, they were transacting with the goods. In order to keep the count of that goods, they were using this clay objects. So if you see the picture here, so there are something which is written in their own language. So there are certain symbols that you can see. It's nothing but it denotes the count of the goods what they had with them. Each object, that is each clay object represented particular quantities of different types of commodities such as food, clothing and even labor. So each and every symbol which represents this picture has its own meaning. So they were using this clay object in order to keep the count of this food, clothing and even the labor also. So this was the initial origin of accounting which was happened in Mesopotamia. Clear? Now moving on to the double entry bookkeeping. So my dear students, whatever the accounting concepts what we are using today, so that is relating to the double entry system of bookkeeping. Now you may wonder that in that earlier day itself, this double entry bookkeeping was there. So now what we are using like journals, ledger, so you are going to learn about these terms later. But what the system what we are using today, so it was there in the earlier days itself. So let us see the double entry bookkeeping system we are familiar with today. So whatever the system what we are using today like journal, ledger, debit, credit. So this was there in 1494 itself. So it was there in 1494 itself. So the double entry bookkeeping system we are familiar with today was first popularly described by Luca Passioli. Now you have to remember this name. So being a common student you have to remember this name. So what is the name is yes, Luca Passioli, a monk of Venice that is Italy in 1494. So whatever the system of accounting we are following today, so it was introduced by Luca Passioli in 1494 in Italy. He wrote a book on mathematics named Sama. So what was the book name is called as, so he wrote a mathematic book named Samma where he wrote about bookkeeping. So he had written about bookkeeping in 1494 itself. He is referred as the father of bookkeeping and accounting. Now who is the father of bookkeeping and accounting? That is Luca Passioli of Italy. So in 1494 itself whatever the systems we are using today so it was introduced there itself. So he has written everything about these concepts what we are using today in 1494 in his book named Samma. He defined much modern day thinking about debits, credits, journal as well as ledger. So these are the important concepts what you are going to learn in accountancy. So those concepts was earlier prescribed by this 
person that is Luca Pacioli. So he is popularly known as father of accounting or father of bookkeeping. Now let us see when this accounting was introduced in India. So if you see about India, of course it has long or long much history in India, right? So let us see how this accounting was introduced in India. So in India, accounting was practiced in the ancient period itself. So they were practicing this accounting in the ancient period itself by the ex-rulers Kautilya. So who was practicing this accounting? That is the ex-ruler Kautilya. The minister of Chandra Gupta Maurya mentioned accounting and auditing system in his book Arthashastra. So you know about the popular book Arthashastra which is written by Kautilya. So in in that book, he has mentioned about accounting as well as auditing in the 4th century BC. So in the 4th century BC itself, he has written about accounting and auditing in his book Artha Shastra. So this was the introduction of accounting in India. Next, we shall see about the modern accounting system. So as and when the industrialization uh, took place, at the same time as and when the modernization took place, this accounting system has become or it also undertaken the modernization. So here there was an improvement in the accounting system as the industrialization took place in India. With industrialization came a need for more advanced accounting system. So due to industrialization, they had to follow modern advanced accounting system and accounting methods also. The concept of the chartered accountant. So you are familiar about this word that is chartered accountant. So we call it as CA. So the concept of chartered accountant came about in mid 19th century Scotland after a group of accountants petitioned Queen Victoria for the royal charter. Now, so when did the modern chartered accountant came into existence? A number of accountants came together and they petitioned in Queen Victoria for a royal character for this profession for a royal charter for this profession so they claim with Queen Victoria then the existence of chartered accountant came into existence. It was time for formal recognition of the respectability of the profession and the various expertise of those working within it. So after that this chartered accountant gave a recognition that is after going through Queen Victoria it was petitioned with Queen Victoria then the rec uh, recognition for this profession that is chartered accountant profession came into existence. The Institute of Chartered Accountant was established in England and Wales in 1880. So this was when the Chartered Accountant was established in England and Wales in 1880. Later it got a popular recognition. Now Chartered Accountant is one of the most popular profession where they are going to verify the books of accounts. Not only verification of books of account, there are number of activities which is been conducted by the Chartered Accountant relating to the books of account. So that is after the petition with Queen Victoria, this profession came into or this profession was recognized as one of the important profession. Now let us see which is the largest body of this accounting. So we know about American Institute of Certified Public Accountant. So this is the picture of American Institute of Certified Public Accountant. So today it is one of the largest body of the accountant in the United States. So if you see the maximum number of chartered accountants are from United States. Okay. So this AICMA that is American Institute of Certified Public Accountant is the largest body of accountants in the United States is the AICMA which represents the CPA profession that is Certified Public Accountant profession. So here there are number of professionals who come under from this Certified Accountant that is American Institute of Certified Public Accountant where number of professionals come out of it. So nationally in 1887. So the CPA professional nationally in or it represents the CPA profession nationally in 1887. 
So this American Institute of Certified Public Accountant is the largest body of accountant in the United States. Next, we shall see about bookkeeping. So as I have already told you, this Luca Pacioli have written or the recent development in accounting that is it may be ledger or a journal, debit, credit. So what we are using today, so it was earlier itself developed by Luca Pacioli in his book Summer. Now let us see what is the meaning of bookkeeping. So we have already learned. So he is a father of accounting as well as bookkeeping. Now what is this bookkeeping is all about? The term bookkeeping was used when the accounting system was introduced. So in earlier days itself, when the accounting system was introduced, the term bookkeeping was introduced. Then what is this bookkeeping? Bookkeeping is a system of keeping the books of accounts for the purpose of recording day-to-day -day financial activities of the business. So, you know, in a business, there are number of transactions takes place each and every day. So, that each and every transaction has to be recorded in a particular book, which is known as what? Bookkeeping. Now, what do you mean by bookkeeping? It is a system where day-to-day -day transactions are recorded in a chronological order as and when they takes place in the business so in same order they will mention this transaction in that books of account so that system of keeping the books in order to record each and every transaction is called as bookkeeping so this system is the earlier system so this system was introduced when the accounting system was introduced so you can imagine that Luca Pacioli itself has recorded this system of bookkeeping in his book Summa, that is in his arithmetic book Summa. So, in a sense, this accounting system or the bookkeeping system was as old as accounting system. So, hope you are clear with the meaning of bookkeeping. Bookkeeping is nothing but recording each and every transaction in the books of accounts, that is day-to-day -day transaction in the books of accounts as and when it takes place. So, that system of maintaining that book is called as bookkeeping. Now let us see what is this accounting is all about. So how the American Institute of Certified Public Accountant have defined accounting. So accounting is an art of recording. So of course it is an art of recording where each and every transaction that takes place in the business have to be recorded in a particular book. So it is an art of recording classifying so here it's not that it's not just that we have to randomly enter in the books of account so there are certain procedures there are certain principles as well as standards to be followed and each and every type of entry is classified according to the nature as well as type so here one thing is that we are going to record in the books of account at the same time we have to classify the transactions. So here a particular type of transactions will be recorded in a particular way. So we have to classify the transaction as the same way we have to summarize in a significant manner. That is in a particular manner we have to summarize that and in terms of money. So here we are going to take into importance the term of money. So here each and every transaction should be measured in terms of money. So non-cash transactions are not recorded in the books of account. So here each and tra every transaction has to be measured in terms of money, transactions and events which are in part at least of a financial character and each and every transaction should be of a financial character and interpreting the results thereof. So this is one of the important definition which is given by American Institute of Certified Public Accountant. In bookkeeping, it is just keeping a books of account in order to record the entries. Whereas accounting is different, it includes recording, classifying and summarizing each and every transaction and make sure that that each and every transaction should be measured in terms of money that is it should be in monetary terms so this is all about accounting now let us see what is this accountancy so you know our subject is accountancy then we should of course we should know what is the meaning of accountancy so let us see what is this accountancy accountancy is a social science which contains terms principles as well as procedures to be followed by the business concern. So it contains all the terms 
principles as well as the procedures to be followed by the business concern while recording and performing other works relating to the transaction in the books of accounts. That is, in the books of account, we will record each and every transaction. So, while recording the transaction, this accountancy tells us that, so what are the terms to be included, what are the principles to be followed, what are the procedures to be followed, so that will be mentioned in this whole subject. So, how the transactions has to be recorded. So, I have already told you, it's not just that we are going to record the transaction as per our wish. So, there are certain procedures, there are certain standards, there are certain principles to be followed while recording each and every entry. So, that will be taught by whom? By the accountancy. So, accountancy will teach us what type of transactions to be recorded, what are the terms to be followed, what are the principles and procedures to be followed. So, here accountancy contains all that terms, principles and procedures to be followed while recording in the books of accounts. So, this is about accountancy. So, we have learned how the accounting has been introduced, who is the father of accounting, then how accountancy was introduced or accounting was introduced in India, then what is the meaning of bookkeeping, accounting as well as accountancy. So here what you have to remember, accountancy is a subject where it contains all the terms, principles and procedures to be followed while recording in the books of accounts. So here we are not going to actually record in the books of account. So we are just learning what are the terms, procedures as well as principles to be followed while recording in the books of account. So this is about accountancy. My dear students, in today's session, we have learned how the accounting has been originated and who is the father of accounting and when was accounting was first introduced in India and what is the recent development of accounting and we have learned few terms like bookkeeping, accounting as well as accountancy. See you all in my next session with a new topic. Till then, take care. Thank you.